nice view, huh? Yep. Well, we're getting closer. We've got five people, two goats, two dogs, two mountain bikes. We are fully loaded. We have arrived at our destination. Isla built a fire. She's all over it. Luke already caught a fish. He was getting bored. He was about ready to give up, and then all of a sudden he had a fish. Get it up on the shore! Get it up on the shore! Oh, he's ready to give up again already? Yep. Oh, come on, Luffy. Let's just see what we can do. It's getting dark. <laughs> so I think maybe we'll grill our steak first. We'll set it aside. And then uh, we'll be able to throw it into our tortellini soup. Okay, let's go ahead and put our grill plate in place. Just warm. Oh, the pan. We'll put some garlic salt on there so it'll be good in the soup. Yeah, that's looking good. It'll be, it'll be like the fanciest, yummiest tortellini soup you ever did. Oh, it's a good looking steak. Ribeye. Get out the cutting board so we can cut the steak. Big, beautiful steak. She made the dough last night. We put it in the fridge for 24 hours. Big loaf of bread. So go ahead and put the top on, get things going. That should give us just enough heat from below. Go ahead and lock the handle up. Cut tomatoes. With Italian seasoning. One can of green beans and one can of French onion soup. Burr. These are cheese tortellinis? Yep, just frozen cheese tortellinis. This is one of Debbie's good recipes that we make a lot. Okay, so we'll get all those in here. That's going to be good stuff. Yeah, that's going to help us sleep warm tonight. Mm -hmm. I like the size of that cutting board. If I need a warm one, like this. Boom, burn. No. Oh, all the wind's coming towards the middle, so burn me. Okay, I'm just gonna slide this over here. Smells good, dude. Smells amazing. Oh, I don't really know. Did you already use it? Uh huh. It's really good. I can already taste the steak just in everything. It's so good. Luke, you want more bread? Good morning.
Levi. <laughs> Levi. I finally caught one. It looked like a rainbow. It jumped out of the water. It looked like a rainbow. And it is a rainbow. Really fat rainbow. Show you the fish. Nice fish. I think we'll keep him, make fish tacos out of him. Oh, got one. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. See if I can get him in, he's jumping clear out of the water. Twice. Come on. He's not very big, but he's feisty. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Uh, woo! Just little guys. They're fun to catch. Fish tacos tonight on the titanium five inch firebox. I've been using this the last few trips I've been on. It's doing really well. Ooh, egg s'mores sounds good. Egg s'mores. <laughs> Did he just say an egg s'more? Eggs on both the sides and crackers. Emma ate eggs with Who caught the first fish? Luke. Luke did. Who caught the biggest fish? I don't even know who caught the biggest fish. Is it up rough? I don't know if it's a brook town. That one that was really pretty that was not a rainbow? Yeah. I think that was you. I think that was you? We got a full pan. Then the next one to me. Uh, time to take the bones out. You just go really slow and then you little That's the fish's the skeleton. Bunch of lime juice. Boy, that lime doesn't want to give up its juice. You might want to use this spoon and get in there with it. Throw in another stick. Oh yeah, this one's giving it all up. A little adobo seasoning. Is that about the right amount? A little bit of pepper. Just stir it all up so it all gets plenty of all the lime and adobo. And Coleslaw 
course. A fresh trout. Oof, that looks good. A little bit of lime for that trout. A little bit of pepper. A little more salt. Finish it on. Taste test. Let's put a bit of salt in the corn tortillas. In the middle of a windstorm, too, huh? Ooh. I think these might be the best fish tacos we've made yet. Here, try them out. Good girl. Oh, he got off. <laughs> 